Hello, I'm Dr. Goswami, and today we're gonna to talk about one of the things in stem cell treatment, a lot of patients have questions about is whether to use their own stem cells or to go with foreign stem cells. As you know, there are stem cells which are harvested from umbilical cord tissue, newborn babies. It does not harm the baby in any way. It just comes from the umbilical cord. That's the cord that attaches the baby to the mom and it's usually discarded uh, when the child is born. That can serve as a source of uh, stem cells. And there are uh, companies uh, who then collect that umbilical cord tissue and then uh, harvest the cells from there. So these come ready-made uh, for use um, for you. Um, and then there is a process where we can utilize your own stem cells. As we know, our body is full of stem cells and stem cells are great at renewing themselves, just like all the other cells in our body are undergoing constant turnover. Stem cells have the property of being self-renewal. So it's not just because you're 65 year old, your stem cells are 65 year old, no. Um, it's, that's not a true statement. So you have availability of both your own stem cells and then you can get foreign stem cells. And a lot of um, patients you know, decide based on their personal preference. Now, in terms of efficacy, when I'm asked that question, over 15 years of doing stem cell treatment, I can tell you, both products can be equally uh, effective, uh, your own stem cells uh, and utilizing the cord uh, stem cells. However, they have to be in the optimal dose for the condition you're being treated. And that is where I think a lot of the providers right now and a lot of the patients fail to understand. It's not getting a stem cell injection, correct? You're there because you wanna see results. You wanna see stem cells helping you. For that to happen, you have to get enough number of stem cells matched to the condition that is being treated. So that is extremely, extremely important when you're researching stem cell treatments. Figure out a program that is going to deliver you enough number of stem cells because most of the time, uh, when I see failures in patients, so patients come to me with having had stem cell treatment and not seeing um, any results or not seeing the results they were expecting, it's usually because uh, they did not receive enough stem cells, enough alive stem cells, that's the other important part to it. Not only just the number, we wanna make sure the stem cells are alive too. So just uh, wanted to discuss this topic um, with, with all of you. Uh, extremely important in terms of getting effective stem cell treatments. Thank you.